Shout out to everybody in the chat. Oh man, the sun and the hair. Hold up, y'all. You guys, I know. No, I have to aesthetically look like I'm presentable at least a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. Okay, let me shout out all the beautiful members. Is it Arame? Arame? I love your name, by the way. Thank you for becoming a member. Arame? Love it. I think that's how you say it. Let me know if I said it correctly. Gypsy Lola, how you doing, love? Cape, Jimmy, Nat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Miss Liz, how you doing? Tricky Vicky, thank you for being here. Everybody, Adas. Chico, thank you so much. Yes, please tell all these people to hit the like button. Thank you, Tazzy. Oh, headstones. His wife was 80 years old. Definitely not. Let me tell you something. Did that, that sketch. That sketch is a little etch. You know, we'll, we'll talk about that sketch here in a minute. Um, let's see. Uh, who else is in the house? Welcome. Hey, CW. Welcome. Well, you, you would have never guessed it, right? Everybody's surprised. It is a horrific crime, number one. Um, Rongo, wow, everybody's talking about the sketch. Lord have mercy. Hey, Shauna B, welcome, love. Tinkle Tits, thank you for being here. You would have, see, even Kelly's like, I would have never thought that that lady was that old because she just, I would have never thought the same either. But hey, Just360, Quirky, welcome. Janice, welcome. Thank you for being here. Everybody come through center. How you doing, Abby? Everybody, Alyssa, welcome. Shout out to you guys. Thank you, Cash. How you doing, love? How are you doing? Welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you for being here. Red Door Woman. Sakina, how you doing? T. Marie is in the house. Welcome. Okay, Chaos is here as well. Do you, do you think the fairy dust, you think the sketch is way off? Hey, KJ, welcome. Everybody said the sketch is way off. Hey, Sonia, welcome. It's off. Okay, so let's look into the reporting. I was a little surprised. Shout out to the member. We, if you are a member of our channel, note that you have access to our Discord group. In the Discord group, if you're paying a member for the Discord, you have access to the various, uh, what is it, rooms. One of those being that we, you know, we drop. Some of you members will drop like links to news articles. And if it's something that we've been following, I typically will take it and we will go and we'll talk about it. Right. So shout out to the person in Discord who dropped that in there. Thank you. Thank you. We got to talk about this. I don't know why my Internet is saying that it's like going in and out. Hopefully it doesn't go in and out on us. All right. So this is the one of the many articles right now. The story is kind of picking up at this point. Um, it's the sketchiest sketch ever sketched. Sinner, you're an artist too, so you would know, right? It's a pretty sketch. It's a sketchy sketch. Definitely didn't give us the woman. At least I don't feel like she looked too much like the, you know, sketch. Vicky says, I love the Discord group. Oh, shout out to the Discord group. Um, you yes, you she said, I told you she was Brazilian. All Brazilian people in groups was talking about it. Really? Honestly, she said, Rabbit, I told you. I'm sorry. Did I not listen? I said, I don't even know who she is. <laughs> Shout out to Anna. She's like, I told you she's Brazilian. Um, yes, right. But she was in the water. and Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So let's talk about this. Delray Beach man arrested for murdering wife after human remains found in suitcase in intracoastal water wave. So William Lo is it Low? William Low. I almost called him Lloyd. It's Low. 78. The man was is 78 years old, and he was able to do all that? So weird, right? They could have used an etching sketch. <laughs> well, gotcha. It's because of the clothing, right? Don't underestimate folks, okay? Don't underestimate anybody with a chainsaw. With like, I, 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 when I was like 78 years old, he did all that? So, facing murder charges of first-degree murder, abuse of a dead body. Let's watch this conference right now. Let's My name see. Is Russ Major. I'm the chief of police for the Delray Beach Police Department. Today, I'm here to update you on the outcome of a homicide investigation mm -hmm. that began on July 21st, 2023. We'd like to first start by recognizing and thanking the community for the assistance and providing vital information that was greatly assisting us and beneficial to the outcome of this investigation. To everyone who followed this case, you can appreciate the sheer volume of work and countless hours that were necessary to bring resolution and closure to a case of this magnitude. 
The men and women of the Delray Beach Police Department worked around the clock since July 21st. It makes me proud to be the chief of this organization and to lead this organization. And I would like to personally thank all those that were involved. A special thanks and recognition must be extended to the crime scene investigators and the detectives that were assigned this case. A week ago, we held a press conference asking the public for any assistance to help identify a subject in this case. Mm. And I can tell you the victim has since been identified as well as the individual who committed this heinous crime. It's definitely a heinous crime. And some of you guys are saying, Abby's like, I got my dad's age wrong, 87. Shout out to everybody. Um, people are behind this case. So about, I want to say, was it Saturday that we started talking about this? We went live and we were going, everybody on Twitter was identifying this woman as being this other woman from Utah. And clearly that is not the case. Thank you, Vic. You tell everybody to hit that like button. Thank you, love. Um, okay, I'm going to try to send you guys a new link on the uh, members only community wall. Thank you for the heads up. So I was kind of do one of the things that came to my mind um, after we were reporting this and then hearing this, too, is the marriage. For him to have gone to that extent, to have done what he did to his wife. Kind of makes you wonder, like. The abu what, what abuse existed. Um, to even have taken it this far. Right. Uh, just I, I'm wondering the buildup to that, you know, <sighs> let me hit play. Our victim has been identified as Miss Ideal Barbosa Fontes, as well as the defendant, Mr. William Lowe, who has been arrested for first degree murder. Many of you last week asked the question, how could we ever solve this case? Well, it's the dedication and hard work of the men and women of the Delray Beach Police Department that were committed to serving our community. Although we can never fully repair what has transpired, it is our hope that our efforts can somehow bring peace to the victim and her family. I'm now gonna hand the mic over to Detective Mike Roberta, who will explain in more detail what transpired and address questions accordingly. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Detective Michael Liberta. I'm the lead detective on this case. Before I get into the details of this case, I would like to acknowledge that the outcome of this case would not have been possible without my amazing team of detectives and investigators, to include Detective Vickery, Detective Lunsford, Detective Casares, Detective Kinney, Sergeant Kelly, Lieutenant Guerrero, uh, Crime Scene Supervisor wow. Ackerman, Crime Scene Investigator Del Valle, and Crime Scene Investigator Carazzini. In addition to all the other units that assisted in this investigation, these individuals put in countless hours to identify our victim and give her a voice when she wasn't able to speak for herself. I would also like to thank the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and DNA, DNA International for their assistance in this case. As you all know, on July 21st, 2023, the Delray Beach Police Department received a call from a subject stating they found a suitcase in the intercoastal waterway which contained human remains. On this same date, two other suitcases were located in the intercoastal waterway of Delray Beach. Detectives worked through the evening and into the early morning hours. On July 22nd, a multi-agency marine operation was conducted in search for additional bags. Detectives located two additional bags in the intercoastal waterway within the city limits of Delray Beach. Wow. Over the next several days, detectives conducted neighborhood canvases and developed multiple witnesses that were able to supply information in reference to a vehicle and a subject that was seen in the area multiple times prior to the suitcases being. By the way, she was 80 years old. He is 78 and she was 80 years old. Um, and it sounds like Headstones and Headlights says his sister moved, his, his sister also moved out a year ago. And where does she go? Right. Um, mm, mm, mm. So he is, for those that are coming in, he is being charged with the first degree murder and abuse of a dead body. Okay. It sounds like he used a chainsaw. Um, his wife, who uh, is the woman in the picture that we've all been looking at, her name is uh, Ideal Barbosa Fontes. Okay. And uh, she was 80 years old. Definitely. Uh, I feel like the sketch was a little bit off in my opinion. I could be wrong. Pay, thank you for, again for uh, renewing your membership, love. Um, it was off. 
it, it just seemed completely off, but hey. Located. Video surveillance was collected from multiple sources and detectives were able to confirm the statements made by these witnesses. A vehicle tag was obtained, which led us to a subject that lived in the immediate vicinity of the area where the suitcases were located. That subject was identified as William Lowe Jr. Numerous search warrants were authored and executed and dental records were obtained from this address. Detectives were able to then confirm the identity of our victim as Ideal Barbosa Fontes. Additional evidence was obtained from this residence, which led officers to a storage unit where they located a chainsaw that they believe was used in this crime. Probable cause was developed and arrest warrant was walked through yesterday afternoon for the defendant, William Lowe Jr. Mr. Lowe was taken into custody last night by the Delray Beach Police Department and charged with first degree murder and improper dismemberment of a human body. Mr. Lowe attended first appearance this morning and was not granted a bond. In closing, it is important for myself and the members of the investigation division, as well as the Delray Beach Police Department to express our sincerest condolences to the family and friends of Mrs. Barbosa Fontes. Thank you. Are you taking questions now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me stop. Let's not underestimate Okay, Black Knight, you made a good point because my mind, my stereo, and I'll call myself out. The stereotypes I made was really 78, 80. Like, don't underestimate, you know, don't underestimate anybody by their age. Okay, and thinking that age somehow strength is not one or the other. We don't know, we don't know what happened. Um, we don't know what that relationship looked like or that marriage looked like. Lori, thank you for becoming a member. We don't know at all. Uh, that is my dad's age, and he's very. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's saying like their dad's uh, parents, grandparents are very fit. I'm like, oh my god. A chainsaw takes a. I'm listen. I mean, to plot the murder of anybody, let alone use a chainsaw. That's just evil. That's that's a whole different level of evil. Can you describe uh, what he told you? Uh, why he would do something as heinous as this? Um, the defendant obtained counsel and did not give a statement. Do you all believe there was anyone else involved? We do not at this time. Any idea about a motive? We do not. Is there any indication that the victim had any health issues or cognitive issues? We do not have that. Wow. So can you walk us through a little in a little <laughs> better detail how you determined this was the guy? Um, as I mentioned, the witnesses um, supplied us information of the subject in the area. Um, we, we collected video surveillance from the area. We obtained the tag. That tag led us to that address. Uh, when we did a search of who resides at that address, uh, it was seen that Miss Barbosa resides at that address. There was also a um, airline scan code within one of the suitcases that came back to an A Barbosa missing a character, um, so it was O-N-T-E-S. And then we saw that uh, Fontes, F-O-N-T-E-S, lived at that address. Ooh-wee. So Black Knight, it was, he was not thorough enough. The airport tag had their last name on it. The rookie mistake. Well, that was just... <sighs> had he not done that, do you think he would have gotten away with it? But there was other witnesses, too. Yes, that's right. That's right. Very true. Let me see what you guys are saying. The average age expectancy of a man is 77.8. Well, damn, sinner. When you put it that way. <laughs> when you put it that way. So people. So true. People are far more knowledgeable about health and fitness now. Yes, absolutely. But he got caught up. You know, they used to. Yes. I don't know. No, I'm not going to be called it. I'm just because even the 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 reporters are saying like what do we think that there's some ailment or something so they were making that stereotype. I'm just throwing out like I I'm surprised. I'm just sharing being vulnerable and sharing my thought process. I didn't know. I was surprised. I don't know. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Did they use dental records? Interesting. Your dad does. He rides 50 miles every day and builds two seats airplane. Wow. Shout out to shout out to your dad. No worries, Cash. The cameras, but they said they have witnesses. She was shot in the head with the nine millimeter. That's what I heard too. 
Yes. So, but we don't know what domestic, like, I'm just wondering, this could have been years of abuse too, for all we know. Um, this, this is such an extreme, you know? Do you have anyone who actually saw him place the suitcases in the intercoastal water? At this time, no. So you said you don't, you don't have an idea about a motive, but we did read in the, the documents that there was mention of him giving flowers to a neighbor. Does that play a role at all in this? At this time, I don't feel that's related. We also read in the um, multiple calls affidavit that her sister lived in the same um, apartment complex that he talked to the sister. The condo upstairs um, was his sister's condo. Um, she has not been there in three years. He had access to that condo as well. So you talked to her? We have not made contact with her. Did you identify the suspect before you identified the victim or the victim before you identified the suspect? The suspect mm. before the victim. Can you talk to us a little about the state of inside that, that condo or that apartment when you guys walked in there? Can you talk to us a little about you know, what you found there? Was it obvious that there had been a, a crime occurred? Yes, there was evidence that a crime occurred. And that's because what you walked in, there was blood splatter everywhere or how was- There was blood splatter in the apartment. Wow. And he killed her in the apartment. Then he cut the body up into pieces and put it into five different suitcases. Correct. And dumped those. Did he dump them all at one time in the intercoastal? Or did he do one and come back hours later and put another one? I don't have an answer to that. It is three or five bags. I'm sorry? Three or five bags. Five bags total. Five? Or not all suitcases, right? Correct. Whereas, how many suitcases? Three suitcases. Um, a, a tote type purse and a smaller purse. So he put all of her bodies in all of her body parts in those. Mm. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, How many locations five bags. How many locations? No, there was just one chainsaw in the storage unit. Do you believe at this point that you found all the suitcases? Yes. Do you believe this is the first time you've done something like this? I can't answer that question. I do not know. Well, he, he, do you think this is the first time he's done something like this? I can't answer that question. He couldn't answer the question. What does that mean? Yeah. Oh, do you? I haven't seen it. Do you want to send it to me? I'll give you my email. Hold up, love. Thank you for that. Let me send you my email right here. This is my email. If you want to send it to me, that'd be awesome. But what? I'm curious. I No, they ruled that out. They ruled that out. So... Gunshot wound to the head. Did you recover the gun? We recovered a gun. A gun. His attorney this morning said this this guy is totally innocent. He vehemently denies any allegations uh, about this. He said he's a decorated Vietnam War veteran who received a Purple Heart. How certain are you that you have the right person? I am very certain I have the right person. Based on the evidence that I have. Can you can you specifically say what evidence? I, I don't want to get into the full evidence. The probable cause affidavit will be released to you all, um, and you can get that from there. How long have they been married? How long were they married? Approximately 15 years. Wow. Was there ever a call to that apartment for, uh, for problems between them as a couple? That was where my mind went. No. And I know you said you don't know a motive, but I mean, I don't, I mean, maybe you could speak on this, but I don't know what would motivate you to do this. I mean, this was no small task. Not only was she shot, but then dismembered, which is no easy task. And then putting, I mean, talk about what type of person that is. I, I'm not a psychologist. I can't answer that question. <laughs> Can you describe his demeanor when you questioned him? Um, he seemed very nervous. Was he surprised you found him? No. Where did you uh, make the arrest? Can you describe the arrest? I'm not really sure where the vehicle was stopped. 
um, yesterday. I'm not sure where the vehicle was stopped at. Wow. Do you know if he's got the body in the apartment or maybe in a storage? Do you guys know the location where the body was stopped? We believe it was the residence. Can you talk about it in the probable cause after they talked about catching him coming back into the home through a back window? Can you, can you talk about what happened in those moments? Was there was a search going on at the time, correct? Yes. So we were holding. Um, we were there for approximately 18 hours. We were still processing his residence. Um, we were holding the residence. There were officers on scene. Uh, he arrived on scene and tried to enter the house through the rear window, um, at which time officers grabbed him. Uh, and he stated that he just he knew he wasn't supposed to be there. He just wanted to get his phone uh, as well as the keys to his storage unit. Wow. OK. And I'm going to let me tell you guys, we're going to shout out to uh, uh... I'm sorry, because I don't want I almost said it the other way. I almost said headlights and headstones, headstones and headlines. Thank you for sending me the PCA. Um, we're going to read it here in a little bit. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for doing that. You guys check out her channel. She runs a channel here on YouTube where she also covers true crime. It is this person right here. Check her out, please. Thank you so much, love, for sending that to me. And Miss Deborah, welcome to the membership. Thank you for being a member and supporting my channel. All right. Let me hit play. And then we're going to jump over to the PCA and then we'll review it, okay? Shout out to you guys in the chat. Let's continue reviewing this. Is that how you learned about the possible storage unit? Yes. Five more questions. Five more questions. And when did that happen? When did that happen? How close to the arrest? That same day? Um, this, it was not last night, but the evening before. Do you guys know the date of the shooting? The 17 or the 20? We do not. Did anyone at the storage unit uh, report seeing him with the chainsaw at any point? No, they just reported him arriving at the storage unit um, around the same time prior to us finding the suitcases and said his demeanor was very odd. Was the request to the community to, to give you information, was that helpful in this investigation? Did that play a serious role? It did. Can you explain how? Um, as I mentioned earlier, the um, people that lived in the area, witnesses told us that they saw him in the area multiple times. Um, they had video surveillance that they supplied us with. Um, they led us to other neighbors that also saw him in the area, um, as well as um, a house that was diagonal from where the suitcase was found, which we were able to obtain video from that house as well. You said you had the tag number. That's I read the thing, but it's been a couple of hours. Which vehicle did you get the tag number for? The same vehicle we saw in the video surveillance that the neighbors described. Wow. It was a gold um, Ford Taurus. And that was his car? Correct. So yeah. that's how you were able to determine where the victim lived? Correct. And, okay. Do you all have a message to the community who might be sort of shaken by the details of this crime in Delray Beach? Um, I think this was an isolated incident. I think the city of Delray Beach is a very safe area to live, and I would not be concerned with with further incidents like this from this individual. Or wow! How do you characterize what he did? I mean, you're, you've been doing this a while. How do you? How does this compare to anything else you've seen in terms of uh, violence and uh, crime? I'd say this is probably the worst I've seen. Why? Because he dismembered a body. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so you want to go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Last one. Is any evidence in the videos when he pushed the bags to the water? Is any evidence that there is an action? There is evidence in the video, but not that of him putting those bags in the water. Thank you all. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> that was so funny because it was a little passive. All right. Let me stop sharing this real quick. And we are going to jump over. Lord Evers. All right. Here we go. Let's hop over to the emails real quick shout out again to head uh headstones and headlines she shared with me the pca we have it right here um let's review it and it's about seven pages okay and it sounds like because the print is a little off maybe it's because i need my glasses and i don't have them murder first degree abuse of a dead body okay those are the two different charges the descriptions the codes are written there as well but let's, I'm kind of interested to know on the details, um, and we're going to read those. On July 21st, ooh, give me one sec. One second, guys. All 
All right, sorry about that. And let's read it this way. Okay, here we go. It says, on July 21st, 2023, Delray Beach Police received a call from a subject that stated he located a suitcase on the west side of the intracoastal waterway that he believed contained human remains. Detectives responded to the area and observed a suitcase with a human foot protruding through the zipper. Upon opening the suitcase, suitcase number one, it was discovered that the suitcase contained a human leg, human legs. There were several small landscaping rocks in the suitcase. The suitcase had that had what appeared to be an airline barco ticket. The ticket read the following: Lame Mia Barbosa, identified character. Approximately one hour later, Delray Beach Police received a second call from a second witness stating that they had located a suitcase on the rocks on the west side of the intracoastal waterway that contained human remains. Detective responded to the area and observed the contents of the suitcase, suitcase number two, to be a human torso. The torso was missing the head and the hands and ended just below the stomach area. There were several small landscaping rocks in the suitcase. While on the scene, the witnesses stated his friend was on a boat in the area and had located a third suitcase caddy corner east side of the intracoastal and further south from the location that detectives were currently at. The subject advised that they believe the suitcase contained human remains. Detective responded to the area and located a suitcase, suitcase number three, which contained human, a human female pelvis. The suitcase contained a bag, cheesecake factory, containing multiple landscaping rocks and barnacles as well as several loose, large size barnacles within the suitcase. Let me stop right there. I can't see the chat. So give me one minute. So just giving you guys an idea of how all of these um, suitcases were located. I mean, it's, it's given us that at the very beginning of it. Kelly, thank you for becoming a member. And Talia, thank you for becoming a member as well. Barnacles. That's what I said. What? Aren't those those like ugly, gross looking things that grow on like turtles? They look like really weird is weird you know i mean if they it's like is it barnacle it is barnacles right it's weird look oh anyways some people eat them right i could be wrong some people eat them let me remove this hold up get this down real quick uh yes okay here we go let me remove myself so we can continue going uh thank you guys thank you thank you thank you um here we go On July 22nd, 2023, a multi-agency marine operation was conducted in the intracoastal waterway in the city of Delray Beach. A Coast Guard vessel containing a Delray detective located a tote-type bag that was tied shut around the handles with twine. The bag, bag number one, had what appeared to be a men's belt Wrapped around it, the bag contained a female head. It should be noted that the detectives and Delray Beach CSI observed a single gunshot wound behind the victim's ear with an exit wound behind the opposite ear. The medical examiner later determined the manner of death to be homicide and the cause of death to be gunshot wound to the head. Oh my goodness. That the she said yes. Yeah, okay, thank you. See not says barnacle means that she was in the water for for a lean. Wow. For lining? Is that what you mean? But that's pretty rapid. Barnacles to grow that rapidly. They grow on anything on water? Wow. So maybe there was water in the suitcases. I don't know. This is just like, yeah. Let me keep reading, okay? 
As the search continued, members of the Delray Beach Underwater Search and Recovery Team located a, bur- a purse, excuse me, a purse, bag number two, slightly north of the above mentioned bag. This purse was tied shut with the same type of twine used on the above mentioned bag. The purse contained an ashtray, which may be used as a weight, and had a decomp- uh, decomposition odor. Whew. Okay, here we're jumping into July 23rd, 2023. Detective Liberta and Detective, uh, is it Vickery, met a witness. They whited out the witness or blacked out the witness uh, name, redacted, who resided in the water near the vicinity. And then they give us a Busieta Road of the location that suitcase number three was found the witness stated that they saw the suitcase on the south side of the waterway prior to the detectives locating the suitcase on the north side of the waterway the witness advised that for several days prior to june or july 21st of 2023 they observed a white male approximately in his 50s to 60s looking into the intra coastal waterway they stated he appeared to be looking at the suitcase the subject was seen by the witness uh, approximately five to six times over a three-day period the witness advised that he made contact with the subject and asked him what he was looking at the subject advised he was waiting for the bag he was waiting for the big boat to come into the harbor The witness told the subject that no big boats come into the harbor. It is too shallow. He then asked the subject which boat was he waiting for. And the subject pointed to a boat across the waterway and stated a boat like that. The witness stated that the subject appeared nervous and immediately walked over to his car. Older model gold sedan entered it and left the area. All right, let me get a little water break. Hold up. All right. (laughs) Okay. Just clearing my throat here a little bit. While in the area, speaking with witnesses, Detective Liberta noticed a metal dock ladder in the vicinity. Hold up. Make sure I'm not muted. In the vicinity of the area that suitcase number three was located. Upon examining the ladder, Detective Liberta noticed it appeared that the bottom step was completely free of barnacles. However, the step above the bottom, wait, the step above the bottom step was covered in barnacles. Detective Liberta requested DBPD CSI respond to the area and process the ladder for latent prints and other forensic evidence. CSI investigator Thompson responded and and processed the latter and recovered a substance she believed to be blood. After further testing, the results yield a positive finding for blood. On July 24th, 2023, Detectives Liberta and Detective uh, Vickery made contact with three subjects, Francisco Simone, uh, Linden, Miguel Manuel Lopez, Okay, so we have uh, Francisco, Linden, and Miguel that were located working on a roof of a property, okay, parallel to the location where suitcase number three was located. The witnesses advised that they had seen the suitcase in the waterway. They stated it it was apparent based on the odor that the three, ooh, hold up, it was... (laughs) Let me stop. They stated it was apparent based on the odor that there was some type of remains in the suitcase. They advised that on July 21st, 2023, they observed a white male and provided the same physical description and vehicle description as the witness above. They further advised the vehicle was a Ford. The witness stated the subject was standing on the seawalls looking at the suitcase the witnesses advised they heard the subject say shit and look and which pointed and which pointed he whoa 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 at which pointed he immediately enter why did i say pointed give me one sec 
the witnesses advised they heard the subject say shit, at which point he immediately entered his vehicle and left the area. Whew, sorry about that. I had to slow down. So the witnesses advised they heard the subject say shit, at which point he immediately entered his vehicle and left the area. So they heard him over talking. That's what it sounds like, right? And let me look at this chat. I... <sighs> that is crazy. Okay, thank you, Nadia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me continue reading. Ooh, all right. Let's see, where did I leave off at? On July 24, 2023, Detectives Liberta and Detective Vickery met with the additional witnesses that stated on July 20th, they observed a white male, same physical description, vehicle description as, as the above witnesses on the dock on the residence that was having the roof replaced. They advised that they observed the subject under enter the waterways using the metal dock ladder on his property they stated the subject had what appeared to be a brush on metal pole in his hands the witness stated they observed what appeared to be a subject attempting to push or scrape something in the waterway using the brush in a downward motion on july 30th 2023 detective lunsford was reviewing the video surveillance from the uh Odelander Drive and observe a white male with gray hair climb down the residence a dock ladder at about 7.04 a.m. on uh, July 20th. The subject then climbed back up the ladder and walks out of the ladder of the surveillance. The same vehicle then revealed the same subject climbed down the dock ladder at about 4.13 p.m. on July 20th. The subject was not wearing a shirt and carrying what appeared uh, to be a cheesecake factory bag. The bag appeared to have some type of weight on it. The subject was also holding what appeared to be a metal pole. The subject climbed down the ladder, at which time he is not able to be seen by the video surveillance. The subject then uh, reappeared in the frame as he climbs up on the dock ladder at about 4 19 p.m. and is no longer in possession of the bag. The subject immediately removes his shoes and exits the frame. A pair of shoes was removed in the same area by Delray Beach Police CSI. On July 31st, 2023, Detective uh, Casares advised me that on July 24th, at about 11.30 a.m., while boloing the area of the crime scene, he noticed a gold Ford Taurus in the area and took pictures of the vehicle tag. And wow, they put the tags up there. So you can see that on the PCA. Detectives ran the tag, the vehicle tags, and results yield the following. It was a 2008 Ford, four-door, uh, registered to a William P. Lowell, Jr., Date of birth is March 28, 1945. We have a, an address, the city, Delray Beach. David also revealed a second video registered to Lowell as a 2017 dark blue Subaru station wagon with the Florida tag. It should be noted that that is located uh, about uh, 0.1 miles from the location that the Suki number three was recovered and 0.3 miles from the dock ladder. Detectives then ran Lowell uh, through David and obtained a picture which showed Lowell as the white male with the gray hair. Further investigation through David revealed that a Hispanic female by the name of uh, Idea, Ideal Barbosa Fonte also lived at the address in the city of Delray Beach. <gasps> wow. On July 31st, uh, your, your, your affiant authored a DNA search warrant for William Lowell. The warrant was granted by the Honorable Judge James Martz. On this same date, officers located Lowell and transported him to the Delray Beach Police Department in order to execute the warrant. Post Miranda, Lowell made the following statements. Your affiant confirmed that Lowell lived at the address. Lowell advised that uh, he was married and stated his wife's name was Ideal Barbosa Fonte. Your affiant asked Lowell where his wife was, and he replied, in Brazil. 
when asked how long Barbosa was, what, how, long, how long Barbosa was, excuse me, when asked how long Barbosa has been in Brazil, he stated about three weeks. Your affiant asked Lowell how his wife got to the airport, and he advised he did not know. What? When asked what airline she flew, Lowell advised he did not know. Your affiant asked Lowell when the last time he spoke with his wife, and he replied, I don't know. Your affiant asked Lowell if he had fallen or cut himself recently, and Lowell replied, other than shaving, no. Your affiant showed Lowell a picture of two of the suitcases that Barbosa was found in and asked Lowell if he had ever seen either suitcase. Lowell replied, no, sir. Your affiant asked Lowell why there would be a sticker on the suitcase related to his wife's name. And he replied, I don't know. <sighs> Lord, I need, to, I need to take a drink. This is... <laughs> It's not very long after this, I promise you. I'm right, right, right. Law enforcement was doing a lot behind the scenes. Look at all, look at all those witnesses. Shout out to the witnesses. Mm -mm -mm. Give me one sec, guys. Apparently they do, Phyllis. They grow fast. I didn't know they grew. I'm not. I'm not educated in barnacles and stuff like that. But apparently they grow fast. Thank you. Apparently they do. All right. Don't ask SpongeBob. Stop, Sinaloa tacos. Lord have mercy. All right. Let me. Let me continue. Um, where are we at? Whoo wee. So this is page five. Let's see. We got two more pages. It looks like, and then we are done. Okay. We're almost there. So. On July 31st, 2023, your affian authored a search warrant for the uh, address. The warrant was granted by the Honorable Judge Martz. The warrant was ex executed on the same day. Upon execution of the warrant, detectives observed blood splatter throughout the residence to include the living room, dining room, hallway, both bathrooms, and the master bedroom. Blood was detected in the master bath, shower drain, as well as the tub of the second floor. Marks drag Drag marks were observed in the living room, hallway, and master bathroom. Large amounts of blood were found in the living room, dining room, and master bath. Numerous cleaning supplies were found throughout the residence, some containing blood splatter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. This is like, wow. While executing the search warrant, Lowell returned to the residence and attempted to enter the residence through the rear window. Lowell was met by officers and prevented from entering. Lowell stated that he was just trying to get his phone and the keys to his storage unit. Upon search of the spare bedroom, detectives located a business card on for security storage of Del Rey located at uh, Georgia Street in the city of Del Rey Beach. This Desk is the same desk that the Lowell re that Lowell requested your affiant to locate his wallet and retrieve Lowell's credit card and driver's license. A nine millimeter firearm was located in the drawer of the same desk. Oh my gosh! July thirty first, twenty twenty three. Detective uh, Casares met with Blank at Blank in an address. Stated that he had been living in the apartment for over two years. Lazarus advised she knows her neighbors across the way in the apartment as Bill and his wife, which she did not know how to pronounce her name, and stated Azul. Oh, stated that earlier today at approximately 800 hours while uh, she was walking her dog, she observed Lowell putting a plastic container tote bag into his tan vehicle, stated that she. Last saw Barboso a couple of weeks ago and stated that her dogs would bark when they hear movement. And recently, they have been barking between uh, 1.30 to 3.30 hours, so in the morning. Um, in the morning, and she would wake up from her sleep and hear Lowell's apartment door open and close, which is unusual to her. Blank stated that Lowell sometimes leaves flowers <laughs> 
in front of her door. And most recently, last Wednesday, on July 26, 2023, she saw flowers on her doorstep in the morning when she went to walk the dog. Blank confirmed with Lowell via text messages that he had left her flowers and advised that the apartment above Lowell is owned by Lowell's sister, but she had never seen her since Lazarus has lived there. Lazarus stated that she, Lazarus stated, state, oh my God, I'm like surprised and reading and surprised. Uh, Let me stop. (laughs) I'm like, what? He did what? Lazarus state, stated, has seen both Lowell and Barbosa go up the apartment occasionally. The flower thing was throwing me off. Did y'all see that? That's, that threw me off. I'm saying, was he trying to get a hookup? That's crazy. And you over here killing your wife? Thank you. Shout out to Bash the Tragedy Pimps. Thank you, thank you. Shout out to them for helping you research and getting me this as well. Thank you. This is insane. All right, let me let me let me keep going. I'm like reading and surprised. Do I react? Do I continue reading? What do I do? Um, all right, August 1st. Whew, we okay, let's let's do this again. August 1st, Dr. Miller of the Palm Beach. Uh, County Medical Examiner's Office confirmed through dental records the identity of the decedent to be uh, Ideal Barbosa Fontes. On August 1st, your affiant uh, made contact with the witness upstairs neighbor, and that's all redacted, who stated that the apartment across the hall from her is owned by Lowell's sister. She stated that she has not seen the sister in over two years, possibly three. She advised that she had not seen Lowell on multiple occasions enter, said on average over the past three years, she would say that Lowell enters blank approximately one to three times a month. She stated that Lowell stores items in the apartment and she thinks he may use the refrigerator as well. Oh my God. Blank advised that blank advised that at times Lowell leaves the keys to the apartment in the door, but she never says anything because he later returns and retrieves the keys. Blank recalls an incident that was approximately two to three weeks prior where she had seen what she thought was a trail of of a trail of soup leading from the door of the blank through the hallway up the stairs to the door of the blank. I made contact with the blank who is in charge of the property maintenance who re- who confirmed uh, Refugio's statement. Is it Rosh stated that he cleaned the stain trail using 409 cleaning agent. Blank could not give me an exact date of when this occurred, but thought that it was approximately three weeks prior to the date, to today's date. On August 1st, your affiant observed the front door of the blank Venetian blank in the city of Delray Beach. And it should be noted that the attach that that attached the front door of this of this apartment is a metal plaque engraved with the Bill's Lowell's. Why does it say that? It should also be noted on this same date. Delray Beach Police Department, CSI Carla del uh, Valles observed what appeared to be blood splatter on the walls next to the entry door of the blank. (sighs) Okay. On August 1st, your affian um, authored a search warrant for the address, the Venetian address. Uh, The warrant was granted by the Honorable Judge uh, Mats or Martz. The warrant was executed on the same day. Upon execution of the warrant, detective observed a black cover for a is it Roiby chainsaw on the dining room table, as well as a Roiby charger, which would be used to charge the battery on the chainsaw. Multiple uh, 
bottles of cleaning supplies were found in this apartment as well. On August 2nd, uh, Detective Vickery and Detective Carresas made contact with the property manager at the security storage of the Del Rey and confirmed that Lowe and Fack had a storage unit at this facility. The unit number was blank. On this same day, Detective Lunsford authored a search warrant for the storage unit located at blank uh, Georgia Street unit. The warrant was granted by the Honorable Judge uh, Martz. The warrant was executed on the same day. Upon execution uh, of the warrant, detectives located a Roybe chainsaw that appeared to have blood on the blade, chain, and housing. Detective observed what appeared to be a bone matter, flesh, and human hair in the housing of the saw. Also located in the unit was a small Coleman, man, Coleman cooler located next to the chainsaw. The cooler appeared to have red marks on the cover as well as red stains in the cooler. Detective believed three marks and stains to be blood. The box that the chainsaw was purchased in was also presented. Correspondence for Lowell was located in the storage unit. Based on the facts, Probable cause exists to charge the defendant, William P. Lowell Jr., with first-degree murder in violations, and the codes are there, abuse of a dead human body in violations, and the codes are there. Oh, my goodness. Colin Man Cooler, thank you. Is it Ryobi? Sorry. Ryobi, sorry. I, I, I'm trying to pronounce it. Sorry about that. Shout out to everybody in the chat for correcting me. Ray, Ray Ryobi? Ray Ryobi? Can I just call it the chainsaw? It's a chainsaw, right? That is crazy, you guys. Soup trail. That is insane. So it was his wife the whole time. I am, I don't know what to say. Oh my God. Like, oh my goodness. Wait, there's screenshots? Oh, yes, I knew the screenshots. So if you guys remember, and thank you, uh, Nadia, for sending me this. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. Um, this is the, if you guys remember, these are the luggages. Ryob. Okay, gotcha. Forgive me. Forgive me, all the people that I could have just called the chainsaw. <laughs> um, oh, wow. So, was she wearing this when she was found? She didn't. She, I'm sorry, she doesn't look anything like that. Coleman, not Cola Man. <laughs> Thank you, moderator. Coleman, excuse me, Coleman. All right. Sorry, I mean, that's a lot to read. Look at that. Remember when we were looking at this? The tags in the suitcase caught him, right? Yeah, I would agree. Thank God the police kept quiet on this. I'm saying, nobody heard a chainsaw? I mean, they could hear all this noise. You guys can't hear a chain, like a chainsaw? You can't, is it a silent chainsaw? I could hear a chainsaw. It was, I mean, shout out to them. I was a very super detailed PCA. I was like dying. How, absolutely, how sad for the victim. Absolutely. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> All right. Um, this is interesting. So I guess she was wearing this outfit when she was found, right? There's a storage unit. Thank you, Nadia, for sending me these, by the way. Wow. Look at that. Okay, there's there's the the re boy Roy B chainsaw. There's a chainsaw right there. It's a lot, Night Charm. It's a not. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. There's a chainsaw. Right there. But people, does this thing not make noise? I mean, you could hear it, right? Wouldn't you be able to hear it? You think it's... So if it's a battery power chainsaw, it doesn't make loud noise? So it's more sight. Let me know because I, I clearly chainsaw is not my specialties. Would it not make any noise? Do you think so, JL? People are saying that. I don't know about that. You know? 
Where is the sister? You hear it already? I'm just saying. I don't know. I thought, uh, is it a silent chainsaw? Battery is quiet. Okay, thank you. See, for all of us that don't, we don't use, I don't be using Roy B. <laughs> Ryo B. <laughs> I like messed up the name. Chains, can I just call it a chainsaw? All right, y'all forgive me. Chainsaw. Very quiet, says Petrify com comparably. I, I, I'm just saying, I'm like, y'all can hear a chainsaw? It sounds like a leaf blower? But you're, if you're doing that inside of an apartment, your neighbor can't hear it? That's what I thought, Sinner. Wouldn't it have, like, plenty of noise? It just seems off. This is the car. It's the car. And this is the, I guess this is the area where we found, um... The pictures. Hold up. Let me see if I could pull a picture of her. I just had one and I don't know where it went. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, uh, um. Oh, oh, oh. Why can I find William Lloyd wife? Let's find it. Wife. Here it is. Um. It just, this is her, but it doesn't really look like those other pictures. I'm just being honest. I think we were, maybe we were just kind of like, I don't know. That sketch threw me off. I don't think it really looks like the lady, but that's just me though. Look, she looks a little bit older, right? What do you guys think of the sketch? In com I mean, the sketch is right there in comparison to what she looks like. Yes. Thank you. There is no confirmation that anything happened to the sister. I have public records showing that she lives in North now. I'm working it. But thank you so much, Headstone. So, I mean, keep that in mind. Maybe she's just kind of leaving. She's just laying low, you know? Maybe she didn't know. We don't know anything yet. They're probably out there looking for her. Maybe they've questioned her for all we know. Maybe she's fine. So let's just leave it at that and not to speculate further on that. Um, I think it was a different street. You think the sketch makes her look younger? It's it's a different comparatively, yes. Yeah, there's another photo out there that does look similar to the sketch. Is there? Um, to me, let me see if I can go. This one, maybe? I mean, it's so blurry. I can't even see if I can zoom in. Hold up. Is it this one, maybe, might be better? Oh, it completely took me to here it's just a, a very hard picture to even put together maybe that one next to her but it, like she's wearing the same kind of top is that the top that she was found in right because the the top that they showed that's what she was so she was found in the same kind of top that she wore before she should have gray hair it, she looks a little bit older in this picture than, than the other one i would say Yeah, but, I mean, she's wearing the same top as she wore in these pictures. So, that's interesting, don't you think? You think she looks like the sketch? I don't know. I feel like the sketch kind of throws it off a little bit. Maybe because, um, I could, you know, it could be the hair color for me. It could even be the eyebrows for me. And I can't really zoom in too much to that picture. I wish I could. But the eyebrows are a little off to me um if they sketched her could they not like my thought process was did they release the sketch before uh did they know did they have her head you know what i'm saying to, to see what she looked like before they released the, the sketch they did find her hair in the chain they found matter and bone matter too you know Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's a little off. Something's off about that. Maybe she colors her hair. That could be a good point too, Tazzy. She could be coloring her hair, you know? So, could be off. I mean, everybody everybody has a different view of this. Headstones, thank you so much for sharing the PCA with me. I appreciate you for doing that. You guys check out her channel and trash the, the 
Trash the Tragedy Pimps as well. Shout out to them. Thank you, guys. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, at least we have the person in jail and we'll see kind of what happens from there and, and what investigate, what other investigation, what else they move forward with, right? Shout out to everybody in the chat. I'm going to be heading out because I got to go tend to a little baby bunny. Let me know. Thank you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're watching the replay, please hit that like button and I will see you guys on the next one. Rabbits out, guys. Oh,